Understanding the nuances of how society operates means needing to familiarize yourself with the ins and outs of the sociosexual hierarchy. This hierarchy divides men into different groups based on their social status and where they stand in relation to other men when it comes to their behavior, power, and influence over others. There are many levels to the sociosexual hierarchy, and it's not always as obvious as you might imagine to tell where one fits into that. Broadly speaking, the hierarchy can be broken down into six different categories of male behavior patterns. These categories are in order from top to bottom. Alpha, Beta, Delta, Gamma, Omega, and then the Sigma male, which exists outside of the hierarchy altogether. Despite what many believe, these different categories are not totally fixed. They are a system designed to help identify common sets of behavior and help men better understand themselves and identify areas for change and self-improvement in their lives. Throughout a man's life, his set of behavior can see him transition from one group to another, even multiple times. This can happen naturally or can be the result of choice and conscious effort. In today's video, we're going to discuss the relationship between the lone wolf sigma male and the fourth level of the sociosexual hierarchy, the gamma male. We're going to take a look at both of these male personality types, discuss what sets them apart, and address the all-important question, how can a gamma male make the transition to a sigma male? Stay tuned to hear the answer. So what is a gamma male? A gamma male can be identified through a number of traits, which we'll go through now. Listen out, and if all or most of these traits apply to you, there's a good chance you yourself might be a gamma male. Number 1. Highly intelligent This is the main strength of the gamma male. He is typically highly intelligent. Gammas often become experts in their chosen field of focus and have a strong capacity for retaining information and grappling with complex concepts. Their often highly specialized knowledge is what has earned the gamma male his reputation for being nerdy or geeky. Number 2. Kind and empathetic Another well-recognized and positive trait of the gamma male is kindness and empathy. These traits can sometimes be lacking in the other groups on the hierarchy, which makes them a definite pro of the gamma male personality type. Unfortunately, however, these traits sometimes go too far, and gamma males can end up developing what is known as nice guy syndrome, basically a people pleaser who feels frustrated when his efforts aren't reciprocated. Number 3. Hopelessly Romantic As they are low down on the sociosexual hierarchy, Gammas often find themselves struggling to attract women. Because they are so kind and friendly, they generally cultivate good female friendships but can struggle when it comes to finding a romantic partner. This then leads them to feel somewhat alienated from romance and are prone to falling prey to contrived ideas of love presented in TV and movies instead of actually experiencing it for themselves. If you find yourself drawn to making big, grand romantic gestures, that's a fairly decent indication that you could be a gamma male. Number 4. Warped Sense of Expectations Gammas have an issue when it comes to their expectations from the world. Especially when it comes to women, they believe that the more they love her or the more intensely they show her affection, the more likely she is to show them the same back. The gamma male believes that he can see a woman for what she truly is, unlike the alpha and beta who only see her as an object. In reality, this is just another form of objectification, albeit one in self-denial. Gammas can even come to grow frustrated or angry when a woman doesn't reciprocate what he believes to be his pure love. Number 5. They Struggle With Women Gammas don't have a whole lot to offer when it comes to winning over women. They don't possess the confidence of alpha males, the reliability of betas, nor the mystique of sigmas. Often they find themselves struggling to make an impression on the women around them and end up overcompensating and leaning into nice guy syndrome territory. Number 6. They Avoid Conflict as they are not in possession of a great deal of outward confidence, they will usually go the extra mile to avoid entering into a conflict with those around them. 
Rather than confront their problems or those they take issue with, they tend to bury their grievances and instead do whatever they can to avoid addressing these issues head on. Often this leads them to develop a deep sense of resentment towards those they hold issue with, and they end up going about life with the lingering sense that they have been unjustly slighted or wronged. Number 7. They Avoid Failure because of their relative lack of confidence, gamma males are highly averse to taking any action that presents the risk of failure. They possess a fragile ego, and even the slightest of failures can greatly rock their sense of self and cause an inner crisis. As such, they avoid taking risks or putting themselves in unfamiliar or challenging scenarios. This tendency only serves to hold gamma males back in life as they prevent themselves from advancing socially, with women, in the workplace, and within their own personal development. If you find yourself to be highly risk-averse and possess a vivid fear of failure, it could indeed be an indication that you are a gamma male. If most or all of these traits sound like you, you may well be a gamma male. If that's the case, fear not, as it is possible for you to take steps to transition away from this set of self-sabotaging behaviors and develop yourself to become more of a Sigma male. By contrast, the Sigma male. In many ways, the Sigma is almost the complete opposite of the Gamma male. Sigmas are confident and possess an inner self-knowledge that allows them to remain cool and unfazed in just about any situation. Unlike the Gamma Male, Sigmas don't look outwards for approval from others. They are not performative in their kindness or empathy and do not require validation from others in order to feel secure in themselves. Sigmas possess many qualities that, if adopted, would resolve the turmoil that Gamma Males face in their social interactions. Here are the steps a Gamma Male can take in order to step out of his fourth tier in the sociosexual hierarchy and become more like the Lone Wolf or Sigma Male. Number 1. Be more honest with himself Gammas suffer from a tendency to lie to themselves to make them feel better about the position they occupy in society and, subsequently, their actions. Rather than take action and try to fix their position in the hierarchy, they will instead lie to themselves in order to mask their dissatisfaction. Sigmas, on the other hand, know that they can only achieve true growth if they are honest with themselves and learn to identify the flaws that are holding them back. Instead of harboring resentment towards a woman that rejects him and brandishing her a prude, or worse, a Sigma will take an honest look at himself and understand what it is about him that she may have found unappealing or perhaps consider she may have her own reasons, unrelated to him, for being uninterested. This kind of self-honesty prevents a man from losing himself to a constructed form of anger or resentment and keeps him on the path to self-improvement, a key element of what it means to be a Sigma male. Number 2. Learn to take risks Sigmas spend a lot of time by themselves reflecting on where they have come from and where they wish to go in life. Spending all this time in deep self-reflection reveals to them the true extent of their potential and the honest limits of their capabilities. Sigmas use this knowledge to accurately assess the potential risk involved in putting themselves out there into a new or challenging environment, and as a consequence, these risks more than often pay off. If Gamma Males learn to conquer their fear of failure and understand that the best rewards in life will only ever come to them by accepting some risk of danger, they can overcome their aversion to taking risks and thrive as a Sigma Male. Number 3. Stand up for himself Rather than continue to go through life doing whatever he can to bury his true grievances and avoid conflict, a Gamma can transition to the role of a Sigma by learning to stand up for himself. Sigma males have an incredibly strong and well-defined sense of self and don't take kindly to others telling them what to do. When a Sigma male has something to say, you can be sure that he will voice his true feelings and stand up for what he believes. Gamma males can continue to solidify themselves as Sigmas by learning to voice their true thoughts and stand up for themselves throughout life. Now before we get on to the last and perhaps the most important tip for Gamma males trying to make the transition to a Sigma lifestyle, 
please do take a second to hit the like button if you're enjoying the video so far. It goes a long way in helping to grow the channel and allows us to keep bringing you more Blokebox content. And now on to our final point in today's video. Number 4. Let go of other people's judgments. If there's one thing Sigma males are known for, it's being lone wolves. This is where they differ in the most extreme sense from the archetypal Gamma male. Gammas are obsessed with their relationship to others on the sociosexual dominance hierarchy. And this hyper-awareness dominates their psyches and guides their actions. In order to be more like a Sigma male, Gammas need to learn to let go of the judgments of others and simply live life for themselves. If you've identified yourself or someone you know as struggling with the lifestyle that comes with being a Gamma male, these tips are the path to making an important change in life and transitioning from Gamma to Sigma. Trust us, making this transition will improve every aspect of your life and is something you won't regret. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out the rest of the Blokebox channel for more. And we'll see you next time.